Hello, how are we doing? All right? We are walking today from the site, which is behind us, if you've seen the video. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put the link up here somewhere. If you haven't seen that video, have a little look. They're at Wild Farm camping site in North Yorkshire. And we are going for a walk to somewhere called Dane's Dyke. Now put the link and information below. But it's probably about 15 minutes to the edge of it. It's the first time we've been there. And we thought we'd take you along. Because we've heard some good things about it. It's a little nature reserve. And uh, Steve on the site tells me it's great for all sorts of different wildlife. There's deer over there. Foxes, etc. So... And that's next to the bird life, which is second to none around here. It's absolutely fantastic, uh, as you see in the last couple of videos. So today I've got my R5 on, my 100 to 500 telephoto zoom lens. I'm carrying it on my cotton carrier today. thought I'd go lightweight, because we're going to go for a bit of a woodland, and uh, not going to be doing much stationary work. So... The old 600 mils been left at home today and I feel, I feel so much lighter. That's a lovely lens, that 600 mil lens. And um, to be fair, it's not heavy at all. The camera weighs next to nothing. The tripod is light as Larry. And uh, the lens ain't that heavy. So it's all quite nice. Got all that um, lens coat. Equipment, a kit, the neoprene stuff and waterproof stuff from the States, which is pucker, really good, great service. Um, thoroughly recommend that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on again. Got a skylark taking off out the fields here. You can probably hear them. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely. It's very warm. It's about half past nine in the morning. It's very close, very humid. We're going to go and see what we can see. So keep watching and I'll see you in a bit, eh? Okay, so this is the picnic area, what they call the picnic area. And right in front of me, where some of the spotter is, there's a gate. Okay, that gate, you go through the gate, just there. Through the sheep field. Look at them, they're handsome, they? big old boys in there. Through there. And if you see that hill right there, just over the brow of that hill, are the cliffs. So it's not far, we've walked basically from there. So we basically walk from there, there's Gladys down there. Not far. All the way to here. Less than five minutes. I've got a badger set here. It's on the edge of the dike. Beautiful. Hang on, there's a deer, there's a deer in there. Just seen a road deer plod off. But yeah, this is a definite badger's. Get 
head along this diet, we've got to get down there. <coughs> but what a place to watch the badgers with. That's a deer, deer parking. It's absolutely stunning. I can't see that deer. We just tread very carefully and quietly when we go through here. Because they will have young with them now. And if a baby a beast down here somewhere, so minimise disturbance. I mean, this is not a very well trodden track through here. But we're going to have a look around. It's carpeted with herb, herb rubber and nettles and hogweed. Stunning. Sycamore. Sycamore. Ash. Couple of oak. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna make our way down the top of this dike. Let's see what we can see. It's lovely and cool in here. What a beautiful place, beautiful piece of woodland, the bird song. There's lots of big old holes in here, so I'm gonna have a little look around for some owls. So some of you might know what I'm gonna show you now. And these are what we call King Alfred's cakes. They're a fungi that grow on ash, dead fall ash. Uh, Daldenia concentrica is the Latin name, which is great, isn't it? It's like Harry Potter. Harry Potter spell. Right, I'll flip you around and show you what they look like. Oh, little pixie bums. They don't look like that. So, what you got there? You got these? Yeah, these ones. These ones are dead. I'll take this one. You see in the middle there, it's got the concentric circles running from centre to outside. Daldenia concentrica. That's the concentric circles. These are great for lighting fires. They'll take a spark readily and you can and you can blow it, create an ember and then blow a tinder bundle to flame. So it's good bushcrafters item to pick up in the woods. Now when they're like this, and you tap them, I'll just tap it on the mic, and they sound hollow, then you can pick them. If they're chocolatey brown, covered with like a chocolatey powder, and they sound dull, they're still growing. Don't pick them. There's a rare weevil that lives inside them, and all these bushcrafters are going to pick all the wet ones, and then have to wait for them to dry out if they do dry out and then they spore in your airing cupboard and cover everywhere in chocolate powder which are their spores it's absolutely no good no good for the fungi no good for the weevil so don't do it okay wait till they dry like this pick them from underneath underneath the branch like this and underneath there they'll be dry like this one i'll show you how it works Right, okay, so in my little pouch I always carry with me that my friend Simon Hardy made. I've got a torch, my Leatherman, Leatherman Charge, TI, and a Ferrosium rod, ferro rod for lighting fires. I always carry this with me. Okay, and it's a surefire way of lighting a fire. So with this, what we do is, we just get nice and nice hot sparks on there start to blow. Okay. So that burn for ages now, these are great. You can carry these in your pocket, obviously not a light. Carry them in your pocket, 
on a little tinder bag when you need them get them out collect some dry dry grass or ferns or whatever you can make a tinder bundle out of and they'll continue to burn they're great for making little smudge fires keeps mosquitoes away so if you've got a little uh, encampment you can burn some of these it causes like a smoke keeps the mozzies away and uh, they burn really hot so you can use them as like charcoal briquettes if you find hundreds of them but yeah put that bit out but always make sure they're right out before you put them down these are really handy this one's really nice and dry so it's really dry took a spark lovely okay so you can take a little piece of that break it up spark that blow it into an ember put it in a tinder bundle there you go fire fire from the forest cool eh some of these trees are absolutely flipping stunning this is a beautiful little patch of woodland and it's part of a nature reserve but we're right up the back of it and this is about as untouched a piece of woodland that you're going to get in the UK this is absolutely flipping beautiful and we're following an animal trail as you can see here it goes up it follows around now the trails are like the highways of the forests. Okay. This will be used by foxes, badgers, deer. And it's pretty much clear of any vegetation any um, vegetation and sticks and things that go crack. Uh, if you're actually stalking through a woodland looking for wildlife obviously not talking and making a video like I am but if you find one of these you're not going to make any swishing noises of any grasses or you'll be able to see the sticks on the floor so you can carefully place your feet and this is the place to stalk through I found this little patch of bare earth here it's like the trail goes round this tree okay, in this tree It's a little nature's drinking trough, and I will guarantee you that things used it to drink out of because the path is really well worn around the base. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And here, and it goes on. How cool is that? It smells fresh as well. So, we just had a just walking through here, not really being that quiet to be honest with you. And I spotted two rows. I think it was a buck and a doe, and uh, she stopped, turned around, come back, walked across the path in front of me, and uh, got some shots and a bit of video, a bit of shaky video, so I was kneeling on my haunches, I put one knee down and I got a bit steadier, but I think Hanny recorded it all from behind me on her phone, so that's a great moment, it got quite close, and one off barking at me. But she's not gone far, she never got that spooked that it legged it off crashing through the undergrowth. Just run off up there. So I uh, put some photographs and that bit of footage that Sammy did up. It's pretty cool.
pretty cool, isn't it? Just following up now. So we're just going for a bimble, it's not, we're not being really quiet or anything. Quite is. So we're just going to the stealth mode now. Because they're up here a little bit. We've started to bank up here. It's started to bank up. So let's just see what else we can see. Okay, so. What have we got here? So what we've got, we've got predated pheasant egg. Okay, something's had a go at the nest. And predated the egg. Now, this is stereotypical of a corvid taking an egg. It's picked it up in its bill. I'll presume it's a crow. I have seen crows around here. Picked it up in his bill, carried it off, put it here. And then what you can see is these marks, the stabbing marks of the bill. Stabbed that out, flipped the top out of the way, and then eaten the egg inside. You can see where it's run down this tree. You can feel the egg there. So that's a predated pheasant egg. Kind of like an olive, like a dark olive green, brown egg. That's a pheasant's egg. Alright. The weird thing about this piece of woodland, no squirrels. Not one grey squirrel in here, not one sign of grey squirrel. And it's really refreshing to see. There's plenty of trails coming out of there, as you see that lovely bit of footage with that row. Hope you like that. And uh, yeah, just walking down the outside of it now, just exploring a bit. But beautiful, glorious day, cloud cover. Wee, what was that? Bit of cloud cover. Yeah, it's really nice. There's some birds flying around out here. Couldn't quite see what it what it was, but going to see if we can get some more photographs. But I believe at the end of this piece of woodland, this strip of woodland, Dane's Dyke, is a, uh, it's a road. And you can cross the road and then go further on. But we'll see. See you in a bit. Walking back up outside Dane's Dyke now. It's beautiful walking now. Absolutely stunning. I'm sort of level with the farm now. Walking back up the foot, footpath to the uh, to the cliffs. I'm gonna go and have a little mooch up there for a little while. So I hope you like that little video. We'll come back and uh, sit and wait for them badgers. I think. little tidbits of information amongst that lot some nice pictures and i hope you liked it anyway let's go and see some puffins now mm -hmm. take care stay safe and stay sane and i'll speak to you again soon see you later guys bye